This episode will cover Protocol Village as well as a brand new way to open a crypto custodian wallet using email programs like Gmail, Weird GNA. About CZ Binance, a small FTX Bitcoin indication, it appears that a washout may occur. Speaking specifically to leverage traders, Stuart Alderer will discuss how liquidity is the key to XRP, which takes us to the AM, which is soon to be approved, pay attention to it. After that, we'll talk about Bitcoin and JP Morgan, because I don't think Jamie Dimon is correct when he says that the price of Bitcoin has already been factored in. I will explain the reason to you. And to wrap up, here's a Bitcoin chart showing possible targets for this bull cycle that might last until 2025. Yes, that is right. Without further ado, let's get started. 51,100 Bitcoin at the moment, it is down 1.22%. Over the last day, Ethereum has risen above its up to 3,000 coming out to $350. 29% of USDT and USDC are both 99 cents. As XRP has a mean lean of 52 cents, for any of you who missed the live stream I did it with, it is now down 3%. Keith, what are we seeing? On Friday, we discussed the possibility that XRP will decline due to the 50 and 200 moving averages. As of right now, XRP is down 3%, suggesting that his graphic was accurate for all investors. Was quite bullish in the short amount of time that Keith entered and dismantled the charts. And take a brief look at what we're examining. Decline in XRP, what is the lowest it can go? You might see an XRP of 50 cents or even 45 cents, but as Chris said, if we do drop that low, don't expect it to stay that low for very long because it will immediately rise back to its previous level. The cent range that we now see it in is 53 to 56. Though it's not quite the right moment, give it another 30 to 60 days, and it will come. Before this, I was convinced that XRP was about to take off. The month is almost over. What does that mean in the end? Thus, March is indicated. In the first place, all Lux Lions holders receive XRP just for holding Lux Lions. There are over 400 distinct Lux Lions holders, and on Saturday, the auction for a unique piece set a record once more. If you're not a member of Lux Lions NFTs, we have an agreement with Border Blockchain Alliance. The former CTO of Cool Cats is pointing all of us in the proper direction while seated atop our board. Tomorrow, I have a significant pitch scheduled with over 40 VCS from Lux Lions. Would you like to discuss the initial days of our partnership? Folks, this is the earliest you are going to get it. It's time to enter now. It's time to hold on to your $165, which translates to roughly 300 XRP, or possibly slightly less, 294, or you can pay off a credit or debit card because we allowed that option and you receive extra credit for keeping the nfts the more you retain the more credit you receive have that in mind this offer is valid for the duration of the project that is simply not a one-time event you purchase an nft now in december 2024 you'll continue to receive xrp in return as it's not like you have to purchase an nft every month as long as you hold it all you have to do is purchase and hold you may purchase 10 this month and never purchase more. Once more, and you will continue to receive XRP. This is my project, a face behind a project, a real name behind a project. It has been going on for nearly 18 months. With a few metaverses preparing for public release. Today, I have some documentation on that protocol that I need to go over. Village Ethmail introduces an email-based wallet. This is significant. The company just announced that it's email as a wallet solution, which allows users to build non-custodial wallets through Gmail or Apple accounts in less than a minute, has been launched. They describe themselves as a web-based email solution. EAA offers a recognizable and simple entry point to enable users to browse the Web3 domain. Permitting them to avoid avoiding this is how steep the step is. Pardon me, the learning curve for Web3. With EAA, users may effortlessly purchase, send, and receive digital assets in addition to accessing Web3 services. I don't currently have a digital wallet. 
This is beneficial because we are gradually converting the Web 2 crowd to Web 3, which includes, I believe, roughly 95% of the population who do not have an Apple or Gmail email address. You can now have your own cryptocurrency wallet with only one click. This was released in reaction by Stephen Rov. To raise money for the whale fund, it says breaking before punishment, CZ Binance has been formally requested by the U.S. Attorney's Office to surrender P supports. According to Stephen Rov, there is a lot of speculation that CZ, the CEO of Binance, was instrumental in exposing and taking down SP, SPF, and FTX. Some people think that this is the reason the Department of Justice is pursuing him and that he may go to jail. However, the real motivation behind these allegations is that there are hints that the operations of SPSPS were part of a larger scheme to funnel money to influential people, including politicians. If this is true, it could further erode public confidence in the cryptocurrency sector. He was giving politicians financial support. Is it true that CZ Binance tipped politicians about him by stealing your money? In my opinion, yes. This is, after all, what occurs. When there's fierce competition, correct? Were Binance and FTX versus CZ Binance? They were going head to head with each other. We knew something was going on between us. In the background, I even think, and I could be mistaken, that FTX once sought out CZ for assistance. He asked CZ to sort of bail him out, but CZ said no, he just kind of let him rot, which is why it's so interesting that Robbing is currently in jail. Although it's impossible to know for sure what exactly happened behind the scenes, I'm sure there was a lot of dirty work done. The Bitcoin indicator indicates that there may be leverage washouts based on a ratio linked to Bitcoin futures. Additionally, the volatility of options has increased this year, indicating that excessive levels of leverage and speculation have been curtailed about Bitcoin to a limited extent in the previous weeks are anticipating a breakthrough, which I think is imminent. We will be able to update our Bitcoin targets after this monthly close, in my opinion, because we are likely to reach $55,000 in the coming days, and I do not anticipate a retracement to the 48500 range, which is a crucial Bitcoin indicator based on the Bitcoin futures and options suggest that there will be a flush out of the leverage market for all of my longtime players out there. All of my power take caution if you become attached to Bitcoin. Use caution when doing this. Now, the monthly close is going to be enormous, and this is an excerpt from Stuart Aldera, who has returned to you was presumably talking about nothing in 2022 when he spoke with the head of the Singapore Monetary Authority and the head of the BIS. He indeed says liquidity is necessary, rather than the other way around. Listen up. Reckless speculation in any asset class, particularly in an inefficient market, is a bad thing. The retail spectator will be left holding the bag. And that too with liquidity. However, my suggestion for the panel would you agree that the basis for any asset's usefulness is liquidity, which is supported by speculation? If so, how can we develop cryptocurrency markets that are efficient and encourage prudent speculation? Building utility for intriguing assertions like cross-bill trade and cross-bill payments, isn't that what we're looking at? We knew it was going to pass, but they discovered a small glitch and repaired it. Now, we're waiting for the automatic market maker to be enabled on the XRP ledger. Everyone can now vote on it, and the results should be known by the end of March. Beginning of April, and I believe that the ultimate market maker will contribute to bringing liquidity to XRP, the XRP ledger, and everyone's favorite cryptocurrency. According to JP Morgan and Diamond, Bitcoin pricing has already started. Are you going to fade, or are you going to believe him? He claims that we already know where Bitcoin is headed, above 100,000 people. Without a doubt, why would he begin opening his account while believing that the pricing is already half in? The Bitcoin fund appears to be nonsensical. Does it now? You are aware that this is just another instance of doing as they advise. The contrary, as demonstrated by the Bitcoin chart released by Igra Crypto, which compares the current cycle to those of past cycles that date back to June 2011, the first cycle of the first cycles. What are the goals for Bitcoin that we're currently targeting? 
As far as he could tell, it was going over 200k. I discussed this on Friday's broadcast with Keith on his live stream, Bitcoin might be shown. Run up that high, Keith's aiming for 150,000 plus or minus the 1 to 150 I got up. It's always uncertain where that parabolic blow-up top will be sold, but only if Jamie Diamond is genuinely of the belief that the pricing has already been taken into account. Hasn't been following the prior bull runs, as what happens roughly 2-3 to three months after we see Bitcoin go completely parabolic? It will all unfold quite simply, and the time leading up to having Bitcoin will be, you know, a small bullish run has taken place. The price of Bitcoin will retrace, everyone will believe that the bull cycle is finished, and many of the narratives will next to go will be a large number of people. Numerous establishments that you know will purchase what you're offering. The price of Bitcoin will continue to rise. Thus, Bitcoin will reach an all-time high later this year and surpass 100,000. At this point, Jamie Diamond is essentially manipulating the markets, so he's going to be laughing.